Luke Young. As a goal! Oh, yes! What a goal! Luke Young! Sensational! It's, it was almost like a, a no-brainer, really, to come to a, to a club of this, of this stature, with the history behind it. So, yeah, it's a long way to come. Obviously, it's a new, a new chapter for me to move away from home, but also a new chapter in my football career as well. So, hopefully it can be... It can be a, uh, a big success on, on and off the pitch for, for both me and my family. Here's Luke Young. That's a goal! Oh yes, what a goal! Luke Young, sensational! Well, he's got a reputation for screamers. That was a beauty. His first goal for Wrexham, sensational for Luke Young. Grants, that's good, to Keel Wright, oh, scrambled away, Rungle, oh, he's panicked, going back to Wright, Luke Young, it's there, Luke Young, hits the net, he deserves that for his industry, his second goal of the season. To try and to try and get to and obviously to play as many games as I can, and you almost kind of try and play as many as you can, and you reap the rewards with a with another year's another year's contract. So obviously, yeah, it's pleasing as a whole, pleasing for me to know that I've got that security for another year, and hopefully we can obviously finish the season this year as well as we can, and then obviously push on into the into the summer next year and, and start pre season on a high. Uh, you mentioned the job security. I was watching back your first interview when you joined, so that was a big thing. You getting the two year deal and moving up here. He said something like you're hoping to be successful on and off the pitch. So, how do you think it has been these two years at the club? Yeah, for me, obviously, it, it, yeah, last year was a was a great season. I think overall, just a disappointing way to end. Um, this year is obviously we've started off okay, but then it just kind of not. It's not been the season that we want overall. Obviously, after last year, I think we were hoping for probably bigger and better things, and it just it's just one of them things that just sometimes it don't work out. But 
I think since the, the gaff has come in now, there's been a bit of stability. He's brought in players that have come in and improved, improved the team. And I think you can see that on the whole. And we're heading in the right direction. Obviously, we're, we're still in a position that we're in for a reason. And, but, but we are moving up. We're, I know we're only two points, obviously, off the bottom four. But we, we, we have been putting some good performance and getting good results. And we, from the position that we were in when he took over, we, it wasn't, we weren't in a great position. So to to get out of it and be putting in the performances and getting results that we have. I think it, it, it's credit obviously to the gaffer and recruitment and credit to the lads for, for buying into what he wants and like you say, we're, we're looking up rather than looking down. It's been an odd season for you personally and on a personal level, you've had a really good season. Yeah, of course. Now, like you say, first and foremost, it's, it's about the team and, the t- and as long as the team's doing well, you play well as an individual but I've been fortunate enough to obviously play the amount of games that I have in staying injury free, been, being fit and probably been my most consistent season that I've had probably for a while since I've obviously been, been playing so and definitely being up here. So yeah, it's it, it's been good overall. I can't I can't have too many complaints on a personal note, but like you say, it, it's about the team and as long as the team's doing well we move in the right direction, that's all that matters. Obviously when you joined it was a big move for you, not just in terms of moving to a different club, but in terms of moving up here. How do you think you've settled? Have you been enjoying your time? Yeah, of course. Since... It, it was it was diff- it was difficult not a difficult decision to make in terms of wanting to move up here, but obviously moving away from family. But obviously, I was lucky enough to have obviously my partner and, and kid, and now obviously another kid that, that have obviously moved up with me. So that's kind of that was a big help, I think. And we're we're both in the same boat, both being away from both sets of family. So yeah, it's it's it was obviously difficult to move away from everybody. But I'd like to think I reaped the rewards in terms of moving up. I had I felt like I had to do it. And yes, yeah, it's, it's been two different seasons, but successful in terms for personal personal reasons for me and uh, like you say we're, we are moving in the right direction as a whole and like you say it's all that's all you can ask for putting in performances on the pitch and, and see where it takes us you've mentioned moving in the right direction have you signed up and i've already got a few other lads in already confirmed for next season it's shaping up nicely isn't it as long as we get the job done this year yeah cool. i think that, like you say first and foremost is, is getting safe and, and, and making sure we're in this league next year but but yeah like you say the the, the players that we've got on the contract already, so you've got a good spine, you've got a good good amount of, uh, of players to kind of work with, and I think the recruitment that the gaffer has shown since he's come in here has been has been positive, and it can only obviously be, it can only get better in the summer with, with recruiting, and then yeah, you can you go into pre-season fresh and, and see where we go. And what are your aims now going forward for this extra year of your contract? I think well, you got I think you've got to get promotions a big thing, isn't it? I think you. But like you say, we can only concentrate on what we're doing now, and that's to stay in this league. And I think if we can push on now for the last 12 games or whatever it is, it, it sets us up nice for a good pre-season. And I think you've got to you've got to take the positives from this year. You've got to end you've got to end well for a first and foremost. And I think if we can do that, and then we can have a good summer, then like you say, we we, we want to be pushing for the top top seven or top two at best uh, final note you've got one goal of season trophy already is another one going to be heading your way this summer <laughs> like I say I don't we've had a good we've had a few uh, few great goals we've got a few contenders obviously my, my name's in the hat plus probably seven or eight others I think so no it'd be, obviously it'd be nice to retain it but like you say there's plenty of competition out there great. thanks so much Luke. thank you Between corner Bobby Grant again to the far post it's just away by Bush. Onto the edge area. Luke Young hits it first time. Oh! What a goal! Unbelievable strike from Luke Young. Wrexham are 1 0 up. What a strike! The ball is cleared. Second ball is flicked back into Luke Young, who hits it on the volley. Difficult skill, and he has just possibly hit the goal of the season so far. Oh, that was fantastic. And the ball comes over and like hit it, hit it, and he did. And what a strike it was! There was no chance for the goalkeeper. What a goal! What a goal from Wrexham's defensive midfielder.